And then after the Greeks, there were, there were well, the, the Greeks, they, they invented the Olympics, didn't they? Ah, yes. There was the Battle of Marathon. The Battle of Marathon happened, and then this bloke, he ran 26 miles, the length of a marathon, and he said, we've won the Battle of Marathon, and they dropped down dead. Now, if you've, if you've lost, you could, you could understand that, because the, 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 the conquering army would be after you, and they're going to take out that next city, yeah? So you run, 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 they're coming, look, oh, fucking hell, you know? <laughs> But if you've won, surely you just saunter down. You don't run. <laughs> you get in a car, you get some naked people with you, you take a lot of drugs and, hey, we fucking won! <laughs> Three, no! And you live forever. Surely. <laughs> All right, so that's true but not funny. That's what you're saying. Okay. <laughs> But in the Olympics, uh, in the last Olympics, in Britain, we didn't do very well, got no gold medals at all, which pissed me off. But uh, we're setting up a British Olympics, where each and every event is a British event, uh, like the British 100 meters, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. I think I was here first. We should win that. And then performance-enhancing drugs are banned at the Olympics. Okay, we can swing with that, but performance-debilitating drugs should not be banned. Smoke a joint and win the 100 meters, and fair play to you. <laughs> That's pretty damn good. Unless someone's dangling a Mars bar off in the distance, you know. <laughs> presses the hell out of me. So I think we should have a stoned Olympics. I think there would be a... We'd like a stoned Olympics. If you get 10 runners off their faces, it'd be great. Hey, you fucking... Oh, up there. Oh, what's going on here? The Stone Olympics that start, uh, where, where people are tested for drugs, they're drugs tested to make sure they have taken it up. <laughs> and if they haven't, they are banned from ever taking part in the Stone Olympics. <laughs> they start off in Athens, where a joint is lit. <laughs> a huge Camberwell carrot, and then they run the three feet to the next athlete. <laughs> Oh, hello, you're right. Yeah, I've been fucking waiting. We've all bunched up and all the, all the runners have come. Some of them already rolling their own. So there's the fucking lit candles going in all different directions all over Europe until you get to Amsterdam, where the final athlete runs into the stadium and he runs up to that crucible where the eternal flame is lit and he gets in and falls asleep. And then the special opening happens with all the colours and brightly painted children run out having recently eaten hash cookies and <laughs> fall about laughing and everyone goes, fuck, it's amazing, I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> and the games are not like the normal Olympics where you get up at six in the morning and you train hard and you run a race, but it's more you get up at two in the afternoon, get down the track, a monkey with a gun starts everything, <laughs> takes out one of the competitors just for fun, and then you'd get a slice of pizza and you're off on the hurdles. <laughs> Each event would take about three hours. The high jump with people running up going, you've got to be kidding. Long jump, they run down, they fall into that sandpit. <laughs> Best shape wins. <laughs> pole vault, they've got to get that pole and throw it over the bar. <laughs> Javelin, a very dangerous event. <laughs> oh, sorry. Man. Nothing personal. Is it a clean break? All right, do you want to just... Can you run? If you run with this over there, I've won, you see. And the final event would be the marathon, the traditional end of the Olympics, where 35 runners from different countries run out of the stadium and are never heard of again. 